nothing interesting had ever happened to me. Then, something finally happened. Grace has a ring, and on this ring, it reads, serve me, serve bo te, meaning save me and I will save you. When has a castmate or director ever stepped in and saved you or supported you during a difficult scene? Oh God, probably literally every time. <laughs> uh, I mean, Austin, I, I truly, he's one of the, he's truly one of the best people I've ever worked with. He's there for you on set. He's giving a hundred percent and it felt like we were holding hands throughout the whole process. You know, you're relying on like, obviously the director to some degree to try and, you know, relate to you the vision that they have because you want to try and like serve the story um, as best as possible. So I would say probably every time. <laughs> <laughs> I come from the theater world, like, I have so many fairy godmothers who call me up and, and check up on me and let me know that everything is going to be okay. I was doing this show called 24 Legacy, mm. and I specifically remember Miranda Otto. It was a quiet scene, and there was a lot of sound coming from the background. And she, as a veteran, knowing that I was too shy and scared to say anything, she said, can we keep it down on set? Coral's trying to act. Oh. And I was like, Miranda, oh my gosh, thank you so much. She's been my fairy godmother ever since. I just couldn't find the words. It's funny, because I can't find the words when I talk, and you can't find the words when you write. What on-set experience helped you to discover and refine your character's voices? It was very collaborative with our director, Rich, and mm -hmm. obviously my co-star, Austin. He and I have known each other since we were 15, actually. Wow. So, yeah, and uh, not a lot of people know that. But so we've been in and out of each other's life for eight years. To have a partner in this, he's so talented and he's very cerebral and kind of working on his character intensely. So I'm doing the same thing. To, to have a kind of like a partner in crime in this was incredibly helpful. Yeah, I mean, I would say the biggest thing was probably probably uh, like Lily and I's chemistry. Knowing each other and having a rapport was already super helpful. First of all, Richard Tan, who adapted this film from the book, he made it a very, very, very safe environment. At one point, I felt like there needed to be more expression from this black character. And mm -hmm. I was like, she needs to have a catharsis as well as the same way that Cora is expressing herself. Mm -hmm. And it has to be like the deepest part of her crush. I have to say, Coral Pena definitely encouraged me to have that voice because it can be very, very, very scary. Mm. So, because we knew we had each other, we knew that what, whatever the other one wanted to say, especially when it's predominantly white sets or whatever, to have a partner and to know, okay, if I say something, there's someone right behind me who's backing me up. I need you there for moral support. 